Hello? Hey, it's Brett. Brett, what the hell are you doing calling me? All right, so we need to get information on Sean and Elliot. I just wanted to see how those new skis were handling. You're kidding, right? Is this normal calling customers? I'm not calling for the store. I'm calling because I want to buy my own pair. Oh, well. And let me tell you, you couldn't handle these babies. Doesn't that make the turns any easier? You broke on the minyard? Hell yeah, I've been skiing every day this week. I wax them, dust them, carve them, and repeat. Connor skied every day this week. Maybe it's great. Maybe it must be great to have some one-on-one -on -one time on the slopes. I never ski alone. Downhill isn't fun if you're not racing someone. Connor never skis alone. So shorter skis are usually racing skis, right? Dude, no wonder you got fired. So if you overcompensate on the right turn, you trash your right ankle. You never ski before, have you? The opposite foot does the work. It's the one lifting your up piece ski. Hmm. The opposite foot does the turning. Hey, before you go, there was another thing I wanted to ask you. Make it quick. Um. Listen, I was having some girl trouble. <laughs> I bet you are. You don't know. I don't know why you think I'd help you though. Listen, I ain't looking to swipe a I ain't looking to swipe a steak from you. I just want you to throw me a bone. Okay, okay, I'm not without compassion. Uh Who are the hottest girls? Why do you care who I thought was hot? Isn't that something you can figure out for yourself? They're all hot to me. That's probably because a guy like you can't afford to have standards. Zing. Do you know anybody who's into me? I thought I heard Nerd Girl was into you. Take what you can from that man, Carpe Notum. Are you talking about Alex? A hot little number like that? Give me a break. Connor does admit that Alex is hot. What I really want is dirt. If you want dirt, check under your fingernails. Nah, I'm just kidding. What do you want to know? I heard that a particular young lady was a little bit of an ice queen. I heard that a specific specimen is a drop dead awesome kisser. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, Alex. But it's only what I heard. Who knows for sure, right? Hmm. So Alex has a reputation for being a good kisser. Oh geez, there was another reason I wanted to talk to you. I can't wait to hear what it was. I, I'm trying to figure out where's the branch to talk about his boys. We should go skiing sometime, you and me. That's cute, but no thanks, Paco. That's cool, you're scared, I understand. Wait, you thought I was serious? I would never ski with a jerk like you. That's cool, you're scared, I understand. Why would you even try to intimidate me? I can name five skiers off the top of my head who could wax you on the slope. Do it then, I dare you. Well, me obviously, and Elliot. Your buddy Lucas trashes way harder than you do. Alex is pretty awesome. You need no contest for her. And I see. Ah, yes, a shaved monkey. Hmm, Alex is a good skier. And I suppose you have more important people to tackle runs with. As a matter of fact, I do have a more steam circle that I race with. And who is that? Or is it whom? It's whom. And if you must know, I tend to ski with Elliot and Sheen mostly. Hmm. Connor usually skis with Elliot or Sheen. Wait, wait, wait. One more thing. What? I keep getting info and you'll nail him. Something's wrong here. No reason. I just wanted to chat. What could we possibly have to talk about? Okay, it must be in here. You heard about any good parties lately? I heard you own Century. What's the deal with that? I don't know a lot of people on the mountain and I thought we could be friends. Um, you heard about any good parties lately? I don't know a lot of people on the mountain and I thought we could be friends. I heard you own Century. What's up with the deal with that? Uh, you heard about any good parties lately? Oh, now I understand. You're just trying to get invited to the rap party for Elliot's photo shoot. 
Actually, this is the first I've heard of it, but it sounds cool. Yep, you got me. I'm hurt that you would accuse me of such pettiness. Yep, you got me. Ha! <laughs> no dice, pal. That party struck me for photographers, models, and close friends. And you're not any of those. I took some pictures for a yearbook once. Does that count? I could be a model. I just don't apply myself. Ellie and I have been close friends for months. I took some photos for a yearbook once. Does that count? Hey man, Ellie's been working 12 hours a day, every day, all week. Do you really want to try to put that on yourself? Do you really want to try to put yourself in his league? Hmm, Elliot works all day today. Every, Elliot worked all day today. Anything else you want to chat about, Mr. Poser McPose Pose? What? I heard you own Century. What's the deal with that? Yeah, you must, yeah, you must have had real insider information to get that little nugget. No? I don't have any major ownership of Sanctuary. I just run the place and reap the benefits. Why? You looking for a job? I think you know that I am. Sorry, I don't work for Megalomaniac Jackaxes. No thanks. I'd rather just dance there. Well, I'm not even sure if I'm into that idea. It's a pretty high-class venue. I'd have to fire my poor doorman if I let you in looking the way you usually do. But you should see me on the dance floor. My moves make up for everything. Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to pass. I'm so sorry, it's kind of hard for me to pass as a classy guy. I'm sorry, yeah, it's kind of hard for me to be as classy as a guy who dresses like a pirate. Oh, God. Yes. Golden line. You ever see the golden line notebook for Brett? What? This shirt is from Italy. It costs more than you do. Sheen thought it was cool. Sean thought it was cool. Yeah, what's this do? Let's not talk to Sheen. It only serves to remind him how much I need to injure him. Yeah, what's his deal? Nothing. Just a little bit of a lunkhead is all. Like the other night, the dude's on break for five minutes and manages to twist his ankle dancing. Hmm. Sean twisted his ankle. Oh, okay. We got the information. Elliot worked all week. Sean twisted his ankle, so neither one of them could have been skiing. Which ankle? Yep, yep. We got it. Yep. Which ankle? Uh, the left one. And that would mean that the right one does the turning for him, meaning that if he was to turn with his right leg, he wouldn't be able to stabilize himself so he couldn't ski at all. Yeah, because he wears that lame brace even when he skis. Freaking hilarious. Hmm, the left ankle. Does this conclude our little chat or do you have something else to mindlessly blather about? I don't know a lot of people on the mountain and I thought we could be friends. Oh, I'm sorry. You must have me confused for some kind of non-profit losing shelter, like Habitat for the Homeless. Yeah, good one. Or March of Desperate Losers. Yeah, I get it. Or Salvation Smarmy. You can stop now. Or Red Cross-Eyed. Look, if you can't take a joke, yeah, you were really joking, whatever, dweeb. <sighs> I saw you kissing Alex on a ski lift. What? I don't know who you think you saw, but I did not hook up with Alex. And I swear to God, if you start telling people, I will end you. Look, I know I could have been mistaken. I just wanted to see if there was an explanation for it as all. Listen, it couldn't have been me because I don't even go on that ski lift. But you ride that ski lift all the time. You said you were skiing every day this week. You said you were skiing every day this week. So what? Maybe I was by myself or something, away from her. But you said you never skied alone. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I was with Alex. So you were skiing with Sheena Alex. I mean, Sheena Elliot, like you said. Yeah, I must have been skiing with Elliot. But you said Elliot has been busy with 12-hour photo shoots. Well, then it must have been Sean. Sheen. But you said he hurt his ankle. But we stuck mostly to the blue cat paw trails that has almost all right turns. But why would a pro scale like you be doing blacks instead of double blacks? What the fuck? But isn't it true that there's no such thing as a blue cat? <laughs> but it was his left ankle, so his right turns would have been weak. Oh wait, that's right. I wasn't with Sean today. All oh, right, right. I did see Alex briefly this afternoon, but she was messing around on a bunny trail for most of the day. So we wouldn't have been on the ski lift. So you admit that Alex was messing around. But isn't it true, sir, that the bunny hill in fact contains not a single bunny? But you said Alex was an awesome skier. 
Why would she be on a bunny hill? Oh wait, maybe that was somebody else. That's right, Alex and I shared a lift up to the different runs, but it was completely innocent. But don't all uh, clandestine affairs claim to be innocent at first? But you did say she was attractive though, didn't you? But people said they sold the two of you leaning into each other. But you did say he, she was attractive though, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, of course she's attractive. It doesn't take rocket scientists to see that. And she does have that reputation for being an incredible kisser. But isn't it true that... Isn't it true that you, in fact, are not a rocket scientist? So there you have it. If the girl is hot, you must be caught. <laughs> and it is... It, I'm sorry. But she does have the reputation for being an incredible kisser. Buddy, you got no idea. Connor, you jerk! I'm breaking up with you, you mongoloid pirate elf. I never want to see you again. What? I hate you. Let's go. She hangs up. Wow, she looks devastated. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. It could take her weeks to get over this. Maybe even months. Damn, Brett is having an existential crisis right now. He just ruined this girl's life. Kiki. You want a date? Sure. Cool. Awesome. Man, girls are evil, bro. They got no souls, bro.